Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much once again for the tune in. In today's episode, I'm going to talk about gold jewelry. Yes, gold jewelry is one of my favorite topics. It's one of my favorite accessories. So, I'm also going to show you in a while some of the pieces I bought uh, recently from my favorite gold jewelry online uh, store. So, the question is, is gold jewelry a good investment? I have heard many questions about this and this is my take. If you are new here, my name is MC. I'm into luxury, fashion, and lifestyle. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to turn that notification bell on as well so you won't miss out anything. Without further ado, let's just go ahead and start. Do note, however, that this is just my opinion. I'm not a gold expert. I do not own a gold jewelry business, but I have done a lot of research about gold. If it's a good type of investment like real estate and stock market that is why I wanted to share my thoughts and opinions with you many people love gold especially jewelry and of course I'm one of them I have been buying for as long as I can remember I just think there are great pieces uh, to accessorize one's outfit even the simplest outfit and they can be uh, passed down from the next generation so it's generation to generation but before i go further <laughs> i just wanted to share first with you uh, the pieces i have purchased recently they're in this small pink package right here from dada shop it says here dada your online treasure trove so it's from this store where i purchased my PL bracelets and I've made a video on that I'm going to put the link up somewhere up here so I think I'm going to open this off cam to save time and I'll be back so here's the red jewelry box and I think I have to just move closer so you can check and see up close so it's um, 18 karat Saudi gold, yellow, 19.75 grams. So this is an LV inspired gold necklace. It's very, very nice. You know how much uh, expensive is the um, Louis Vuitton jewelry, right? It looks like so. It's in the same length as this uh, necklace, size 18, and it could also be adjusted up to size 20. So, so pretty. So this is quite heavy because it's 19.75 it's, uh, grams. I just wish I have a necklace display so you can see the beauty of this necklace is. Maybe I can use this as a background. <laughs> anyway, the quality is very good. I love the detailings. There are a total of five LV logo right here. One, two, three, four, and this one uh, the ones dangling on the lock i also love that the fl the flower detailings very nice and you can see the chains there are two chains hanging right here wait how can i do this this one and in here very very pretty can't wait to wear this love it love it now this is my second purchase it's not actually a jewelry but i consider this as a keepsake 
it's a great gift for your loved ones yeah so this one I also bought this prior to this batch and I actually made a video and when I was about to upload it it was gone so I don't know what happened maybe that time I was busy um, preparing for a trip you remember the video I, I, I also posted it was my trip to Samar so yeah I'm just going to show this to you now so you have an idea on what the necklace looks like so this one is also in 18 karat Saudi gold and it's 12.4 grams so this one is a Tiffany inspired necklace you just insert this like so and there you go so there's a heart pendant over here and this is um 16 inches i also love this and probably uh, you saw me wearing this in one or two and now we're going to open this uh, red envelope right here there are chinese markings or writings at the back I can't of course I don't know what the meanings are but yeah the envelope is very pretty so it looks like this it's a 24 uh, carat yellow Hong Kong gold it is flat and i think this is one gram that's approximately it has a baby tiger engraved on both sides next year 2022 is the year of the tiger um, the zodiac sign tiger is a symbol of strength and bravery and i think this is a perfect gift for your loved ones it's uh, great for any occasion such as birthday weddings you know and the price of this is 3,950 pesos only. So this gold flat sheet right here is a great gift because it's very safe. Sometimes you don't know if the recipient will love or will like the jewelry you're going to give. And besides, you, jewelry, you know, it's very um, expensive at the moment. So this one, it's not only a great gift, but it keeps safe safe keep sake <laughs> what am i saying keep sake as well so the question is can gold jewelry be more than just a fashion statement since gold is a valuable asset is owning a gold jewelry a sound investment strategy well gold seems to retain its value over time even when the stock market is fluctuating However, if you're looking to flip your gold jewelry, you would need to invest in a substantial accessory to make any serious cash. That is my opinion. Although investing in gold can be an excellent way to diversify your portfolio, your mindset should be long-term. So it's a long-term investment. It's not an alternative to all other investments, but it's a helpful addition to help balance out your portfolio. Jewelry isn't the most powerful form of gold investing. There's this physical gold or gold bars or gold coins, paper gold, and mining stocks. Anyway, our topic is gold jewelry, so let's not tackle other ways you can invest on gold. Now, with that being said, having gold jewelry in your collection can still be a, a smart move. It can work as an emergency stash for a rainy day. I'm sure you know that not only is gold is an excellent way to hedge against volatility because it's proven to be um, excellent at meeting inflation. 
it's also an untraceable asset you can use when you don't have uh, any paper cash so yeah but some of the pros and cons uh, of buying gold jewelry as an investment are number one there is a high demand for gold jewelry in the market and you know that so number two it is wearable and you can enjoy it for as long as you like and number three it is easy to maintain it will last forever you know so the cons are you can expect to make a quick profit from it otherwise you lose some of the money you've invested unlike other investments which have quick turnaround and number two uh, con is you'll need a safe space to store your jewelry to avoid uh, losing especially when not in use so number three con is pieces of jewelry do not increase at the same rate the value of gold is affected by many uh, factors such as quality workmanship etc and we also have to consider if the jewelry is branded a designer piece so all these things and at the end of the day knowing where to invest in jewelry is the key so the right jewelry piece can prove a worthy investment if it can go as far as becoming a highly valuable family heirloom it can also provide a reliable uh, fallback option in times of need as you could easily sell or pawn it gold is definitely an investment option worth considering but you must purchase only from a trusted or I mean trustworthy and um, professional source so i hope this video is helpful to you uh, thank you so much for watching if you have comment question whatever you can write down in the comment section down below i'll get back to you as soon as i can i'll see you on my next one